one to be cherished. Who will go down in history as the winners of the FA Cup? It's Arsenal. They face Manchester City. And it's live right here on EA TV. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And so the match is underway. Jesus. Who can he pick out? What a vital intervention. Let's see about the delivery. On a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Given away by City. Alexander Zinchenko. 
Gabriel Jesus. The supporters want to see him have a go. And blocked for now. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper more than equal to it. And he's fired over the corner. And still dangerous. Well, they survived the attack. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Oh, a goal! To put Arsenal in front on this massive occasion. And how significant could that be in the grand scheme of things here? Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be useful looking ball and they couldn't add to their advantage well that would have put them in complete control he should have scored there The pressure being exerted, pressing high to win the ball. Can he convert? And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Gundogan Holland excellent assessment of the situation at the back this attack looks highly promising Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire and in the end no damage done A wilting under the pressure and now they try to go forward and he takes it on a goal and it seems they're truly cruising to victory here well as you can see this is a wonderful strike he makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it it's a great goal Continues and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Gabriel Jesus, long way out, and the keeper's hand does the trick. Being pressed and pressed high. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, as you can see, Arsenal had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. 
Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. And he struck the post. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, as the replay shows us, it's a decent first effort, but he's so quick to get onto the rebound. That's a good finish. goodness it's so one-sided 5-0 in this match there's a slide draw pass well nothing productive really and this situation could be dangerous takes the shot and a goal to seal the hat-trick a master class in finishing just can't stop him today Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting, 6-0. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Xhaka. Xhaka! Oh, he saved it well. And he's fired over the corner. Holland. And the referee's whistle, that will conclude the first half here at Wembley. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. What a vital intervention. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper more than equal to it. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Oh, a goal to put Arsenal in. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. A smart stop here. <laughs> and now the delivery. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Kyle Walker under pressure here. De Bruyne. Effective challenge. That's a fine-looking run by Gabriel Jesus. Crossed accurately towards the far post. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Out of play, City throw. Ruben Díaz. Holland. It's with Gundogan. Rodri. Return to Gundogan. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that.
Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, in the dying embers of the game, but Arsenal still full of life, a most enjoyable performance. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number 26, Riyad Mahrez. Rodri and it's Ruben Dias given away by City We're inside the final five minutes. My goodness, this has not been close at all.
And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. And so the match is underway. What a vital intervention. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper more than equal to it. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Oh, a goal to put Arsenal in front on this massive occasion. And how significant. Useful looking ball. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. 